What are you talking about after seeing Liverpool defeat Manchester United in Europa League? Talk to us in the hashtag Europa League. We also told you that Coach Samson Siasia is still a tough man. No nonsense, Coach. Always discipline. Using discipline as his watchword. He has told players uh, of the Super Eagles in Abuja, look, if you cannot impress me, go home. Very important game. Nigeria will play with Egypt on the 25th of this month in Kaduna. And for Coach Samson Siasia, the team is not giving what he wants. What's your, what's your take on that? Talk to us in the hashtag Super Eagles, hashtag Samson Siasia. And of course, we'll talk about women's football. We told you the Flamingos are getting ready to play South Africa. Coach Balai Ki is as confident as ever. The captain, Rashida Najibadi, believes the girls can do the business in Abuja on Saturday and then go to uh, South Africa and just wrap up things. It's women's football. Let's talk about it also using the hashtag Flamingos. We're getting ready for match day six of the Nigeria Professional Football League. I smile when I talk about the league in Nigeria because it is getting better week after week. What's the story for you? Are you a fan of MFM Football Club? You like the fairy tale run? Are they truly Leicester City of Nigeria? Talk to us in the hashtag MPFL uh, this morning on the show. Cecilia, Coach Samson says here, no mm -hmm. nonsense. <laughs> I like the fact that, look, it, it's the same the way it is. Uh, if we play Katsina United, the Super Eagles, this is the team that if all the players in camp there, they're good, the coach can take them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying, if you cannot win against Katsina United, you're not even getting scoring chances, then there's a problem. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he was really furious when he was talking to, to our correspondent there in Abuja, Loki. He says, look, it's Katsina United for crying out loud. I mean, he expected them to actually fire. That, that's, that's what comes up from Ziazia whenever he's really not happy. He was furious because he was expecting at least two three goals from the players and he says look i need to actually have the best team and see if i can pick four you know pick some players from mm. there but right now from the from what he said it doesn't even have one to pick at all gracious goodness and you have how many players gracious goodness. <laughs> so from the way let, let's listen to something says mm. let's, let's listen to him If you remember this the national name is not uh, Kasna United. Should, there must be a difference between the, both teams. You know, we didn't see any difference. Uh, and, uh, I'm not impressed. You know, I'm not really impressed with it. I'm praying that when they go back to your clubs, when they come back, we have to work a little bit harder than what we've done now. What of your quality of opposition? I'm not worried about quality of my opposition. I know how good they are. I'm going to have to worry about my team. You know, you have to have a good team to play against them. You know? Uh, that's not my big problem. Not to worry. I'm not worried about them. I have to find a team that can play against them. That's what the worry is. Well, this evening, the boys put us on chance, but they were unable to convert them. Does it give you any? I didn't see any chance. No much game we watched too. I didn't see any chance. So yeah. we didn't create any chance. So does it give you concern? Of course. What are, what are we doing? Are we joking? We're not joking around. It must give me concern. If I play against Casino United, you can't create a chance. Well, where are you going to create this chance from? So we have a lot of work to do with the home base players for the foreign base players. Because we need some of them to be part of this team, to play because of the weather. And hopefully we can get a couple of them to join the foreign base players to help out. Okay, um, Coach Samson Siasia, interim coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. He didn't hide his words. Um, I'm not impressed. These guys are not yeah. giving me what I want. We're playing Egypt. If eight players are good from this camp, they can actually, yeah, course, you know, compliment uh, mm -hmm. when the oh, foreign based professionals come in. But right we've now, got he's to not see. seen anyone. Mm. He's not seen anyone at mm. all. He's really not happy. You know, where they, you know he, he said uh, almost everything. When you're playing against, you know, it's, it's a friendly game. Yeah. It's, it's not as if it's a big deal kind of game. But you expected to see see something special you need to show me what you've got exactly so mm. they're not really showing him what he wants and he's expecting that once they are back from their league games you know this weekend and they're back in camp they def better show him something really better or maybe they're trying to play safe oh i have a very crucial game this weekend mm. let me play it safe and don't get injured get to play for my team and when i come back i'll give him what i want i hope that was what the players were thinking no. when they didn't really play well no i keep i keep telling the, uh, these guys that play uh, back home this is a huge opportunity whenever you're called up to play for the super eagles of nigeria Give it your best. Yeah, give it you your know, best, yeah. Well, you don't necessarily need to impress the coach. Impress yourself. Give yeah. you 100%. And yeah. then the coach will see it. But the coach is saying, like, okay, 
a fact. No, and another thing is, I mean, I, I was looking at the fact that you know, you know, since the league started, they had midweek, midweek games. We mm. know that this period there are no midweek games and all That's that right. because we help them to focus. Maybe after they've rested a while. You know, from Monday, we'll see something special, something different. That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. But, um, to see that truth is now we're getting to know that the, the sort of quality we thought we took to mm -hmm. uh, the Chan Championship is not really that because most of the players are here in it. They are here. The players that went to uh, the competition in Rwanda, mm -hmm. they are in this competition. So, uh, yeah, definitely. In this, in this camp in Abuja. So, uh, Coach Samson says he has every right to say what he said because he's working with them and I was I was telling uh, my producer Irene that look the guy the coach can come and say I'm, I'm playing only foreign professionals and nobody yes now for, for, yes, if the foreign professionals for, come mm, and, yes, and they're yes, better yeah. and they can get a job done it's, at this stage I let it be known that I keep saying Nigerian football is in a state of emergency it's about results oriented players if the coach cannot see that he's a player that is hungry that can go out there put smiles on the face of Nigeria give him the results he wants he's not going to play you so that's the days where you want to use pity or sentiments and say oh let me help him grow if you're not grown <laughs> that's the super egos of Nigeria don't come there maybe you go to the golden eaglets Mm. It is reminding me of what Bless Nokagbari said when he says, Athletes, if you don't make the standard, don't bother to come. That's right. That's <laughs> okay, right. that's the way it is. And mm. hopefully, by Monday, when they get back in camp, and Tuesday, when they resume training, they will be at their best. Because right now, they don't have a choice. If you want to make the team, you make the team. And if you want to go to AFCON, it starts right now. Right from there now, we're going to talk about what well, the Flamigos. Flamigos. Yes, right. I mean, these are the teams that have been beating all the teams <laughs> they've been meeting. I mean, you know, right, they, because yeah. they couldn't get any friendly mm -hmm. from any African country. So they are playing against each other and they're getting good results out of it. These are actually the Super Falcons uh, players, you know, why they were preparing for... Uh, no, no, this was in Canada yeah. you know, during one of the their training. FIFA World yeah, Cup. that's mm -hmm. uh, perpetual culture there and some of them over there. So for, for the Flamigos, I mean, the coach has said, look, we need to score as much goals as we can. Then when we go to South Africa, we will just like, okay, maybe if they can do nine. Okay, that's South Africa, not Namibia. <laughs> but definitely if they can do nine goals to nothing, well, they can do that. South Africa is already in town with training. Yeah. But what are 